Hi guys, it's Michal from Hypnotic Techno Production. Today I want to show you the overview, the track I did for Culture Records um, that was released around December last year. Uh, the first track, Path Towards. Um, I have seen this track being played in um, many different, many different uh, podcasts and people especially commenting about it, that they liked it. So I thought I would give you an overview how I did that track, what techniques uh, I've used um, so you can learn and, and use that in your production. So as we can hear, there is this main modulating kind of synth happening, which is this sound. And whenever I'm like kind of do any sound design work, I always prefer to use that to the audio channel so I get the recording and I can just use the whole phrase in the track. As you can hear, this loop was even longer, was it? No. So it's basically me playing around uh, a synth uh, operator, which I will show you in a moment. So this is the lead. And then we got uh, another bit that I think it's worth mentioning here, which is this one, which is again, uh, pretty much the same concept of me playing with the synth and recording it. And now we got like this nice cool variation at the, at the beginning. And this is uh, a polymeter. So it, it, it has the length of 12 bars instead of like keeping it to the eighth phrase, which makes it all interesting. And then we got like, Okay, so let me show you the sound design, how I did it. I can't re remember the exact settings, but the way I did it was to use operator. And here I've prepared kind of like the basic version of this, that synth. It's a sustained note, C3 in this instance. And I'm using operator, pretty standard. I kind of like draw my own user, um, like a waveform which is modulated, but let's turn off, turn them off. So what I do is we have pretty basic sound, no filter, no nothing, a bit of um, echo. So let's add a next um, operator. And this one is, is looping the whole, this is the, the whole trick to, to get that kind of like a morphing um, sound, which creates different rhythmic times constant and now so what the loop does loop does is like every time there is a sustained sound it will use that sound and make it a loop so we can modulate the rhythmic of, um, the time by modulating attack and decay So basically we can also modulate the time. The time will, um, if we um, clock it, if we turn it on the right side, it will lengthen all the time. So attack time, decay time, release time, etc. In all the settings here and in, in all um, envelopes. So, you know, there are many ways to uh, operate, to, to modulate the operator, but let's add another one. And what I did, which kind of create this morphing sound, as we see here, uh, here is adding a filter also with a loop. So let's. You see? And now, and now we are entering this kind of super nice.
Yeah, so use loops in operator, they give you super nice, interesting results. So this is basically how I did those two sounds. This one and that one, which are the leads of that sound, of, of this track. So then it's just a putting uh, uh, this uh, recording into a timeline and adding stuff around it. What else do we have? I use a, a synth, a loop, to be quite honest. I like to use loops. Uh, when I use loops, I like to like, cut them to, to, to fit the groove. And in this instance, I needed, I needed that loop to be kind of shorter. So to use warping, beats mode, if we turn this off, it's a bit too much. Now it's like kind of shorty. And one, what I did also was drawing, I guess, um, not again. Um, there was a transposition, wasn't it? Um, or maybe I've um, I've consolidated the clip, but I also like add a little bit of. Um, transposition to the sample so it, it fit the groove better um, then what do we have here another morphing sound I like to have those morphing sounds and this is I guess um, this is I guess a shaker or something no no I haven't used that one so this is like a 16th shaker with a bit of grain delay let me uh, see if I can sh quickly show you how to create something like that let's um, add really quickly um, some kind of um, hi-hat yeah let's take a first from the from the library like click trick Trick, trick. Yeah, so we got like really um, kind of 16th pattern. Of course, it can be better with a bit of um, with a bit of uh, you know fluctuation in. Uh, I can't remember. I forgot the velocity. Of course, yeah. So it's a bit di more dynamic. But then the key to to have this kind of sound, which is like whoosh 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 is to add a grain delay and this is uh, an, uh, a technique I use quite often on percussions if I want to make them organic in a sense um, let's add a grain delay And, and now it's a matter of manipulating those settings. And again, recording it onto another audio channel, which gives you this kind of textural percussion. I like to add, which I haven't done in a while, to be honest, add my own voice, which I think is a perfect way to add a uniqueness to your track. So you just, divide, 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 divide. it's like me whispering and then another kind of whisper. Oh no, it's a sh shaker, sorry. Yeah, so whenever you want to have that kind of organic touch, like I highly recommend you add some you know, organic elements, like record them yourself. No one's gonna do it the same as you're gonna do it and it will create uniqueness in your tune. And then it will just, it was just adding a percussion around the whole loop, which is kind of morphing and changing anyways, because we got polymeters, because we got the sound that is morphing here. This morphs, like there is a lot of morphing in this track. Um, this one didn't work, so then another recorded um, recorded uh, um, hi-hat, which I like to add with a bit of like automation. I like my sounds to like flow into each other, not to have them abrupt as one. 
but it depends sometimes I like to have them on one but this one just grows oh, in this context it made sense that it this one appeared on one so this shaker of this high head just adds a bit of movement more energy the whole thing is done between these two sounds which serves as the uh, main ones and originally I had more elements here but when I was listening to this track a few times I just had an idea that it stands out on its own because of that modulation so sometimes it's a matter of finding cool sound and recording it and then working the whole tracks around it now a bit of percussion but as you can hear it's it, it has this modulation so what how i did that is to have a percussion um let's have another percussion a bit um, tick 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 and let's use that example of the hi-hat once again but i will use the effect i, I use which is spectral spectral uh, resonator so let's oh this one and you can use different <laughs> add a bit of unison you can tune it oh I like to add stretch yeah so this is how you would um, basically change a timbre of any percussion elements so this is how I did this one oh it was spectral time I can't even remember something like that or spectral there's another one time um, delay and loop yeah it was spectral time sorry because I, I could hear the delay being added there um, yeah but spectral resonator also really cool but spectral time is I think I've used, um, there's some preset which I really liked, pitch trials, uh, sorry, delay reserve glitch, I guess. No, delay downshift. Um, oh, this one. Also super cool for adding um, like a depth and uh, modulation to the percussions. So yeah, spectral time. Adding, um, yeah, not much, another different kind of different hi-hat. So in my tracks, I like to have like different hi-hats coming into uh, in a different sections just to make things more interesting. Like it's the same, basically the same rhythm, rhythm, rhythm as here. But this one has different tone and it makes all the things everything more interesting because you don't repeat the same sounds of, of, of course it comes back but this one hasn't come back which kind of makes it a unique section then we have a high energy then the energy drops and there's like this sounds just more thing so I thought like I, I don't really need more at this point Then at one point, if I could change something, I would just probably make it a bit louder. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, a bit of. Which also has a bit of modulation. 
I, I guess I'm modulating the attack time. So to make it a bit of like a shaker read and a bit, a, a bit more percussive. And there's also an arpeggiator that kind of generates that sound. So it's like a sustained note generating an arpeggiator, 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 just generating the rhythm with the beat. We could add the, this one. Yeah, to add a velocity difference. Yeah, but just uh, you can go, you know, we can do everything about it. Let's turn this off. Then we have another, like a more pointy close hats. So they just add a bit of energy. And then we have like a final round. This guy is, is having its time. And like I, I could hear like a very interesting tone. Da, 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 da. So it's like a climax part. <laughs> Sorry. More hi hats, which we have here. Here, shakers. Just energized, just to add more energy. And then there is a white noise. Like, just to accentuate. Just a simple white noise coming from analog with a bit of frequency shifter with um, some LFO added just to modulate it a bit. And as you can see, this guy is doing the whole work. So I, I thought, I don't really need more. Yeah, as you can hear, there was a pad, but I've, uh, I haven't added it. Like I thought this was a bit too much. Yeah, and it, it was just a matter of finding nice samples working together. So this creates a groove. It doesn't even have a sub line or something like short kick short kick and percussion and it's it's working really well um, so yeah this is how I, I did that track I hope you've learned something interesting and that this will help you arrange your track and if you want to learn more from me you can um, check out my rapid arrangement course uh, this is in the link in, link is in the description or check other videos popping up popping up around here have a good one. Bye.